episode 20. Hi, we're the Boomer Shines, and we have a dream of doing the Great American Loop with ourselves, our two kiddos, and our two cats. But first, we, we gotta, gotta find, find a, a boat. boat. So, welcome to episode 20 of... <laughs> That's not a creepy. Virtual boat shopping. And today we're going to look at one of my favorite boat makers, yacht makers, ship makers. What do you call them? Builders. Builders. Boat builders. And that is Marlow. And there's a Marlow 53, a 2006 for sale. And I love it. And Marlow's going to be at the top end of our spectrum. Yes. Yes. So if like Nordhaven is like a defender, I feel like. Marlowe is like a classic Range Rover. I was ex that's exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. It is so beautiful. It's got more refinements, but still a class E. I think it's a class E. Lloyd's of London classification. A well-built vessel. I just, I think Marlowe, the lines of the Marlowe are gorgeous. So. so we first set foot on a Marlowe in like 2010, and we've been receiving information from them since. We went to the Miami Boat Show and fell in love with the Marlowe. Or the Palm Beach Boat Show. One of those two. Anyway, this boat, I, I, I love this boat. Okay. Dive in. Very pretty boat. It's got the navy blue hole that you hole. like. I love a navy hole. Harder to resell, especially in the south because they're hot, but they're gorgeous. Do you know what air height is? Does it have a hinged arch? Because that looks like a pretty significant hard top. Okay, so in order to do the Great American Loop, well first, what is the Great American Loop, Mark? Would you like to say? The Great American Loop is a circumnavigation of the eastern seaboard of the United States and Canada, venturing in canals, waterways, and lakes of the region. <laughs> Anyway, and the Gulf. in order to do the Great Loop, you cannot be any taller above the water line than 19 feet, 6 inches, and you cannot draw any more than 6 feet, preferably less than 5 feet. We would love like 4.5 feet for the depth of our boat below the water line. This one, I cannot find an air height. It does look like it may detach or have um, a hinge of some sort. So we're just going to assume that we can make this boat less than 19 feet. Just a little money and time makes it... The right there height. Are, there are outfitters by this bridge in Chicago, apparently, that will help you get your boat lower. Yeah. So we're, we're going to go under the assumption that this boat can be made to be less than 19 feet, 6 inches. That is a very large assumption, and you know what they say about assuming things. They're usually wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. This one's in Palmetto, Florida. Did you, did you mention the price? Oh, it's nine hundred ninety thousand dollars. Yeah, that's so why we've I like planted it so an additional money tree, tree since we started looking at that uh, Nordhaven fifty nine C coastal pilot. Well, that was twice. The Nordhaven is twice as much as this, so I feel like this is a deal. Oh, you're right. I don't know why I was thinking it was seven. It was two million. This is half price. Uh, see. So we're good. Let's look at the specs. It's a two thousand six. Which it's I like that year. Fifty three feet. Now Marlo. Uh, likes to get really specific here. Uh, the length overall is 61 feet 10 inches. I think it's got a pretty sizable bowsprit and swim uh, platform, and but length. it says the length at waterline is 49 feet. Okay. So somewhere in between there is, I don't know what insurance goes by yeah, because so that's what, what it depends upon for us. And we've been told we can insure anything up to 60 feet. So if, if they if they count the length of the water line at 49 feet, we're then definitely we're good. good. My other question is when you pull into a marina and they ask you your length because you pay per foot in a marina for docking. Um, I think technically they want the length overall because you can't pull a boat next to you if your bowsprit is like this, but you're but you're in the water here, unless somebody comes in underneath you, they you've taken up that full distance. Okay, well, if someone some so you're gonna dog pay out there. Will you please clarify? Are we looking at L O A or L W L? I think it's L O A, and you're gonna be paying a per foot on that per night at a marina. Okay, that's just me. Max draft of four foot eleven. Just what we need, displacement of 80,000 pounds, so it's That's close to, to a Nordhaven. I think okay. the Nordhaven for 53 feet was 88,000 pounds. So this is still a little bit less. Cummins diesel. That's good. Pretty high horsepower at 1270. Uh, Marlow is really known for their range, so 2,000 gallons. gallons. So that is a third of the loop on a tank. So three Phillips. 
Um, fresh water tank is I think the largest we've seen at 220 gallons as opposed to the princess, the Viking princess, which had 50 gallons, I think. And the holding tank is holding 240 tank. gallons. And it's a two, this is a three, so a three state room, room with two hats. Confirmed because we need three state rooms. Okay, let's look at the pictures. All right, there she is, gorgeous. Beautiful. We love the aft space, not quite as big as we would want, but great covered space. I mean, great safe walk around for the kids. And walk the around, this would compare to a Fleming and a outer reef yacht. And it has a sexy stern. What's its beam? We forgot to look at its, its beam. Its beam is 18 feet, four inches. That's one of the widest we've looked at. I love a beamy boat. Okay, this is my boat. I love, it's got the hard chines here, which are just molded into the hole, but they look beautiful. I don't think they do anything. You also got a dual anchor set up. I love that. The benches right here are fantastic with a Portuguese bridge. One for each kid. Portuguese bridge is so safe for kids and cats. I mean, the cats are gonna jump up. It allows you to stand there, can but we, can have that Can we talk about the fact that bowl. one of our cats fell in the lake this weekend? And she swam to the shore. And she got out of the lake, so we it bodes well. It for bodes us. poorly that she fell in, it bodes well that she got out. Oh my god. Nice swim platform, That's big heavy staples. Stern. That's a lot of teak to take care of. That's what Rex is for. <laughs> this okay. is a pretty hefty, yeah, this will be a mechanical oh, day taking this hard top off. But let's just assume it comes off. Okay. Nice flybridge space, a lot of seating. Love, both helms are always great, helm wheels. Okay, it looks like it's got bow and stern thrusters, which I like. I like I know the you piping. Think they're cheating when you're docking using a thruster, but I like them. This is a Marlow right here. I love that they did the, rather than one big door, uh -huh, like at a two. fever or something. Oh, I didn't even notice You that. got a split barn door. This That's just cool. looks like a great place to be. Although, te although technically U.S. Coast Guard stipulates that you may not be on the bow of a vessel while it is moving. Huh. What techni- I mean, what qualifies as the bow? I mean, yeah. you're behind if the Portuguese midship, bow. I don't know. Again, salty dogs out there. Inquiring minds want to know. Please share in the comments below. Gorgeous. I love how it's raked up. I love everything about this boat thus far, except for maybe the air height. One piece, stainless, you know, all one piece. Okay. So less places for Russ to get in. Stairs up. Lifeboat. Okay. That's a little tight. That is tight. How uh, a table back there is going to be tricky, but great painting space. And here's nice. I love that they build all this in here. Okay, so this is not super snuggerific, but I think with some minor decor modifications, we can make it more snuggerific. But the fit and finish, the millwork is Gorgeous. incredible. I think these Looks are the beautiful. registers for the heat and AC on this side. This side, the grab rail here with this, you know, they all that's their hallmark type thing. The high-low table, it looks like it, look, it goes out. I wonder if it comes back this way and up and down. They got storage in here. A little slot for your magazines right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interesting little seat there. There are handles under here, so that would mean there's storage. All that would be storage. We probably, we would change the chairs, although I'm sure those chairs are super snuggerific. Tambor door, I bet you that's a liquor cabinet. Okay. Helm right behind, or a uh, galley right behind the helm is fantastic. Love the whole galley setup. Seating for the dinette. It's right there by the... More grab rails. There's an, there's some vents. Look at that. I love this one so much. And you'll get every, nearly every penny out of it, I would think. Which I mean, is great for the investment-wise. You want to buy something, do the loop, go to the Bahamas, and sell it. Yep. We don't want to With hold on minimal to depreciation. So that's part of the game we're playing is what do we buy that we know we can resell and get our money out of? Yeah. There's another thing on the build quality. <laughs> right here, look. They they cut in the, the handrail is recessed in, so there's nothing really sticking out, so it reduces the amount of boat bites. A boat bite is a bruise from running into something on the boat because you're moving. I'm covered in bruises when we're on a boat, and that would be helpful. Balance turn thruster. I assume this would be stabilized. You got fridge drawers, freezer <laughs> drawer. Um, dishwasher, I don't know. Oven, I don't know. Dishwasher's got to be somewhere in there. Right ah, there. Right there. It Perfect. asked for 
See, Ask, no dishwasher. And you shall receive. Hello. <laughs> I'm the dishwasher. <laughs> nice countertop for serving both here and in the salon area. Okay, and so those are the little push button door or knobs. So they lock when you push them in and they're flush. So when you're underway, the doors don't open and you don't bonk them. And they're vented for circulation and just, you know, that's showing, they're showing off right there, the millwork. You got a vent hood here. Looks like they're fiddles, see? Good. Like a uh, Nordhaven. It's just beautiful. The door, once again, look how heavy. Wait, what's that? Maybe a freezer. Four fridges and a freezer on the Ice flip maker. side? There's the recessed handle going downstairs. Okay. What's this? Storage, washer dryer. It shows us again. Hello, I'm washer. I'm dryer. <laughs> okay, but this is a good listing. It, we asked yes, a question and it's, and it's telling the story. You go, Marlo listing. Okay. Um, we are, there's a mirror. We're looking uh, aft towards we the master state. Okay. That's not exactly spacious, but I really don't care. Well, keep in mind, this is potentially a 53 to 55 foot boat, okay. which is the same we looked at in Ultima, which everybody was on top of each other. You didn't like that. But I did. Nice. These people did great listing photos. Medicine cabinet. Yeah. You know, it's classic. I mean, it's it's like a Grand Banks. You've got fiberglass, yes, but you've also got the teak and the wood. It's just timeless. I don't love the little arch on everything, but that's just. Whatever. Here's look at the shower door. I love everything else about this boat. All right, we're looking. Oh, I wait, think this no, is the one. Wait, 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 wait! Don't. Okay. That's so, not a hallway door. It looks like the the kids' room is in the hallway, but wait, I, okay. I was worried about that. Okay, so that's your VIP. Tutor tutor or we could reconfigure it to be two twins so you got twin hanging lockers probably storage mm -hmm. underneath this probably lifts up and mm -hmm. nice vents look at all that storage there so that could tons be, of storage uh, and this little shelf for stuffed animals that could be retrofitted great for two twin beds that mm -hmm. split um and ensuite there's the bathroom okay Okay. There, see, it it feels like that bedroom is in the hallway, but in reality, it's got room for a desk. Yeah, but the door is still a sliding door, I believe. Yeah, but the door makes the wall. I guess all doors make the wall. But, but you know what? That gives them even a great. They're going to be playing in the middle of the open. hallway, yeah. but it it works. Our kids are seven and nine, so they're not itty bitty, but they're not. Now, Palm Fire family would have a problem with this because <laughs> they they're great boat reviews they, if you wanna. They love it when they, people show the compass. But in this case, it looks to be a very nice compass it with does. a teak custom built surround. Uh -huh. oh, yeah, the helm wheel nice. on a Marlow is hand built like and then any... CNC routered. Yeah, that's gorgeous. You feel like you're a captain. Yeah, it's like butter in your hand. That's a gorgeous overhead. So I'll take it. My only comment would be rather than the red, which I think is an anti-fouling, I would do teal underneath, a teal stripe, but that's that's pretty much the perfect looking boat for us, right? Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so to me, this is like, our, we need to get our broker to find out about that fly bridge. Yeah, well, why has this been around so long? This boat we've been looking, we've been seeing for over six months. Okay, click it, we'll see what's next. Oh, that's it. So question to me, why is this boat still around? And every Fleming that's out there is pretty much sold. Uh, people are saying the only way to get a Fleming is to order a new one. Which we're not gonna do. What's the matter with this one? I don't, I, I, maybe it's cause it's $990,000 and that's a smaller boat market than, but the Flemings are equally, if not more expensive. Yeah. Now 900 for a, 50, for a 2006, I don't know. We'll need to check. But it checks, I mean, unequivocally, yes. 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 Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, Marlo. You make beautiful boats. You do. Good job. And we met the people and they were extremely nice. We still get their mailers and everything. So on Sneed Island. Uh, yeah, so that's it for this episode. We didn't uh, mention we've, we're coming to you not from the basement, but from Cinda's sunny office in our home here. We're going to take you on a tour throughout our 1920s home here in, <laughs> here in Atlanta. 
throughout all of these episodes. It just depends on where we can find a quiet spot, really, <laughs> let's be honest. Um, yeah, what else? We love the comments, we love the feedback. You guys are giving us such great information and you're making us laugh and smile. So thank you, please keep it up. And if you have any other thoughts or suggestions on boats we should look at, please send them our way. A bunch of you had recommended Marlowe's. Of course, we had to review one and of course we loved it. So thank you. And howdy to the people in Africa. We have people watching us in oh, Africa. We're in Africa. That's I know. So cool. They're so planning us... on doing the loop in 2024. 20, That's commitment. Yes. So Are you South know, African? Let us know where you're from in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and shine on. Love it, 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 love it